Hey guys, this is a really unplanned video, but I did need to talk about it because it looks, well, amazing. Hi guys, it's Jeffrey the Cat here. Okay, first off, a new Spider-Man game was announced at E3 and it is being developed by Insomniac Games. Oh, and if you don't know, Insomniac Games is the video game company behind the popular PlayStation-only game series Ratchet & Clank, which even had a movie that aired this year. Total Oscar contender. Nevertheless, the series has gotten high praise many times and is regarded as one of the most fun and most adventurous series to play on the Sony PlayStation. Marvel Entertainment and Sony even got Insomniac because of just that, their ability to translate fun seamlessly into a game, something that Spider-Man just is. Uh-huh, and another thing to point out, this is Sony. Sony still owns Spider-Man, and it owns Sony Interactive Entertainment, meaning that this is a game that is exclusive to the PS4. Sadly, all you Xbox One gamers won't be able to play it. Us, on the other hand... <laughs> Okay, anyway, getting into the actual game, this already looks gorgeous. Marvel has stated that it wants to truly make a good Marvel game, for once. And to do this, it's really reaching for good graphics, good story, and good gameplay. New York looks gorgeous, modern, we have really detailed streets, which is something I've wanted, actually, everyone has wanted, in a Spider-Man game. And then we get to, uh, ugh, what? Well, that suit, I mean, I think it... Personally, personally, I think it could be better. Right, well, I, I actually really like it. It looks different, and it still looks like Spider-Man. Understand that this Spider-Man is also an experienced Peter Parker who knows how to take out the bad guys, and a suit upgrade was probably going to happen eventually. Also note that the suit, whether you like the design or not, looks stunning. I mean, it looks realistic and less plastic-like like in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 game, and the eyes are like the ones in Civil War, meaning they move. Also meaning that they are trying to make the eyes a mainstay in the Marvel Universe. Yeah, that, or they're just trying to translate Spider-Man's moving eyes into a game without making it look fake. Also, if you notice, the web swinging looks similar to the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Yeah, so they're probably sticking with that gameplay-wise. Yeah, exactly, and also notice how this New York looks and feels, unlike the Amazing Spider-Man 2, completely different feel. Usually games use that sunset glow to make things look nice, but as you keep going in the trailer, that is not the case. The city just looks beautiful, period. And then we get to this scene, and I don't know if you can casually stroll into this cafe, but just the fact that there is a seamless transition from the inside of a building to the outside already blows the Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2 out of the water. Also, look how detailed everything is! Holy shit! We also get a car chase, and hopefully it's better than the Amazing Spider-Man 2's car chases, though those were a major improvement from the first movie game. Yes, thank you, and also, hopefully they don't have a god-awful news report every single time you finish a little side quest, like car chases or gang wars. And that already looks so good, oh my god! Wait, look at that I mean, it looks amazing! You have different types of bad I, 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 guys, that's so great! <laughs> it looks so good! I, 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 uh, just look at so Spider-Man! Look, man. Just look at Spider-Man! Look at the street god, below! That looks this so looks like good. a fucking picture! Yeah, yeah I, I know, and it really does! but here's one thing I'm concerned about, the size of this city. What do you mean exactly? Well, we keep seeing the same buildings over and over again, and I know this game is still in development, but I remember that New York in these games gets smaller and smaller. Last time I saw Queens was in Ultimate Spider-Man. We also get this shot, which looks like a web zip, and then crushing the guy underneath. Looks a lot like those, you know, Ultimate Predator takedowns from Batman Arkham Knight, you know, those in slow motion. Oh, I can see that, yeah. I mean, well, better to implement something that's been done, and improve on it, rather than not have it at all. Yeah, it's a lot better than developing a new shit system, which plays like crap. Exactly. Oh, I love this shot, though. We also get what looks to be the start of a car chase with the cops, and what seems to be Mr. Negative's henchmen. These guys are straight from the comics, by the way, and they work for this guy. So a villain is almost already confirmed here, just by these guys appearing. You know what I love about that? That it's Mr. Negative. Not Goblin, or Electro, or Alistair Smythe, or some bullshit like that. It's Mr. Negative. It reminds me of the good old Spider-Man comics, where it almost had a, you know, crime noir feel. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, with, with, uh, with Gene DeWolf and all that. You know who I'd love to see? Who? Ray. Yeah, 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 Wraith, great character. Also, the, the Spiral comic was great with her, and they were fighting Mr. Negative too. Awesome, yeah. Oh, we, we then get this shot with this huge machine, which seems to be the same machine we see later at the end. And we get more fighting. Yeah, yeah, a really cool slow-mo scene with Spider-Man stopping a, I don't know, a crane crash, it looks like. You know, it also seems like this battle will be tough, because it looks like an advanced version of a car chase, but there are multiple things you have to take out to stop this vehicle from moving. Right, right, and, and so this is where you try to pull the passenger out of his seat to stop the vehicle, right? And here, you can again save people from burning buildings. Well, hopefully it's easier this time, because in the Amazing Spider-Man 2, that shit was annoyingly glitchy and hard. Yeah, I remember that too. And finally, the last shot was Spider-Man trying to stop the vehicle. 
we get the new logo too. And that's about it. Awesome. So, one last thing, Insomniac, the developers have stated that this is a more seasoned Peter Parker who's more masterful at fighting big crime in New York City. They also said that at the same time, he's struggling to balance his absurdly chaotic personal life and career. That sounds so great. Yeah, e exactly, exactly. That means we might actually get less of this uh, reporter crap from The Amazing Spider-Man 2 and more of Spider-Man 2's, you know, the original from 2004, that game's, you know, where you balance your dual lives with Peter Parker being late to appointments and not getting paid and all that. Now that would be amazing. You know, this game looks great, but we can never be too sure that it will be the definitive Spider-Man game that we need. Exactly. After The Amazing Spider-Man 2, I don't know, but this game is not by Activision and not by Beanox, so that gives me faith. And it does look like a great start for the future of Marvel games. Thankfully, Marvel is getting its shit together after seeing Batman Arkham's success. So thank you guys so much for coming to the table, and we'll see you all next time.